guys, it's Tiff back again. Today I'm going to show you a new book that I've been working on. It's uh, Mixed Media Portraits. Um, I have started to practice more and more uh, with faces. Um, that's typically not what I draw, but um, I, like many people, thought, well, I can't draw a face. I can't do that. And so I've tried to remove can'ts out of the vocabulary so that, um, you know, I can actually just practice and see what happens. Who knows? Um, I have noticed uh, vast improvements since I purchased the book by Pam Carricker. Um, mixed media portraits. It will be linked down below in the description box. Um, it was roughly $16 um, for this book. Um, th it shows you several, several, several different techniques. So she goes through the super basic procedures of uh, drawing the face and proportions, etc. I highly recommend it. Um, in this uh, Ranger's Dilution um, Ink, the small, not Dilution's Ink, but Dilution's Journal, the small one. I'm not really sure exactly what the size is. Maybe like a 6 by 9 or something like that. Um, but I've coined this as my face journal. And I've also wanted to get uh, more familiar with how watercolors work. So I'm just using some watercolors here. I really, to be honest with you, have no idea what the brand name is. Um, it's just some that came in the tube that I put into the um, into this little watercolor um, thing that I got. I'm pretty sure I may have gotten this at an estate auction. Uh, the tubes, and if I did, then they were those Reeves ones, I believe, that you can get at like Walmart or Hobby Lobby. So they're not expensive uh, watercolor paints at all, so keep that in mind. Um, but, you know, I'm just, just practicing. That's what it is. I do like um, any type of drawing or art. I love for it to involve color. So um, that's why I'm just creating this inky watercolor background to uh, start to draw the face. I'm checking just to get a good idea if it's uh, dry or not. And it seems to be dry enough. Um, the pencils that I use, um, I believe the one I'm going to use is going to be um, a Derwent pencil. I'm pretty sure. I got those at like a yard sale or something crazy. And I actually went down with the Stabilo All first and I thought better of it. I said, uh, oh no, I actually didn't use the Derwent. I decided to use the, uh, this is uh, the Grumbacher, I think is how you um, pronounce it. They have a giveaway on Facebook on Mondays and I won their giveaway a few weeks ago. And so, one of um, the things that came in the box was this um, graphite holder, and I really like it, so I'm using that here. And I'm just getting a, um, I haven't really got good at, like, maybe doing angles in faces. That's a little bit harder, so I would recommend um, just starting with a front-facing, um, you know, face to kind of get the proportions correct and as you notice when I put the lines in that uh you know the book like I say can explain it way better than I can because she's the professional so um but it talks about you know how your eyes should be the middle of your head and then your nose should be in between your um, chin and your eye and kind of proportioned it out so that's why I drew those three lines to kind of give me a guide to what I wanted it to do. And I find noses to be really hard, or difficult, like not the easiest thing to draw, but uh, I've been practicing, so practice. I don't know that it makes perfect, but it makes you a lot better. <laughs> and so here I'm just going to go in and I'm going to look at that nose as a reference. Um, because she talks about showing you how to blend 
blending the, um, you know, the shadows and if you, if you follow me on social media or Facebook, you'll notice that I've talked about this book quite a bit and you can take the parts, you know, that you like and kind of use that to apply to your, um, your art. But I just really encourage you not to say you can't draw faces. You can draw anything if you practice. It may not be the easiest thing to everyone. However, if we practice, we can definitely do it. So, if you're not following me on Instagram, you can uh, follow me at Miss Tiff One. And also, I've been periscoping Southern Gals Designs. Same name as here. Um, you can find me there too. I've been doing a little bit more periscoping, but it allows you to have opportunity to ask me any questions you may, you know, want to ask. And here I'm just using a blending stump to kind of go in and uh, blend all the pencil lines. And something must have just popped into my head. So I did a little journaling over to the side here with my pencil. And I could not tell you what it was that I was writing because I'm not even sure. That's sad. And I'm getting really loose here with the um, hair. And sometimes I, you know, do like um, hair wraps, scarves. And sometimes I've been doing uh, afros. I've been doing... Uh, you know, different different things with the hairdo. But I think I ended up going back and changing this one in just a minute. But I've committed to myself. Um, you know, Pam talks about in her book, you have to practice. And so I've committed to doing 15 minutes a day. Um, of some type of sketching faces in my um, journal. So I'm actually drawing in the ears here. And I'm going back in with the Stabilo All, I believe. She's got some wild hair going on there. I didn't realize that when I was doing it. My hair's wild too, so. I have curly hair and whew, it can be a challenge. Maybe that's what comes out, <laughs> my wild hair. And of course, because it's Stabilo All, we activate that with water. So that's what I'm doing here is I'm just using a smaller brush and going in and activating um, that. And a little bit of Stabilo goes a long way. So. And there, instead of actually uh, drawing with it, I just touched it with the brush. So, you know, you can, you can use it any kind of, you know, any way you like. And just a very, very basic face um, on this inky background. Kind of pulling and playing with that uh, Stabilo wall. And I enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the process today. I hope you will make sure you subscribe and you give me the thumbs up. Please find me, uh, look at the description below. I always put my social media outlets there so you can find me. I love it to see what you're doing that I inspired you to create. Um, so I hope that you'll join me again another day. And I appreciate you coming by. Big hugs.